Joining us in the studio is astronomer Dr. Gabriele Schönherr. Now, as we've just seen, telescopes, telescopes seem to get bigger and bigger. ALMA is an array of many dozen uh, different single telescopes. How much bigger will you want to be? Will you ever come to an end? No, never. I never. mean, astronomers only uh, always will need bigger and larger telescopes. Just Why is because. That? Just because you need um, a larger collecting area and you need a larger baseline and radio astronomy for mm. better resolution of the images. And what are the biggest telescopes you have today? Well, it depends on uh, which uh, range you ask. In the optical, it would be a single mirror of 8.4 meters, but you're in the planning of a 40 meter mirror out of different segments right now. Mm -hmm. And if you look at radio astronomy? Well, there's a trick is to combine different telescopes, like with ALMA, and you can, in principle, do that um, just limited by the Earth radius. And not even that, because there have been experiments where you were combining also satellites to the Earth-bound uh, radio stations. So there actually is no end. You'll always get bigger <laughs> and bigger, of course. Indeed. And as we've just spoken about, I mean, there are different ranges of light, different frequencies you're actually observing. Uh, we have a few pictures from the Milky Way. Maybe we can look at them and you can explain to us uh, what's happening in these different ranges. What is this right here? Yeah, so um, we are starting at um, long wavelength here or low energies with radio and infrared regime. And what you see there is a very cold universe. So you see a lot of um, dust and um, cold stuff and you can look very far out. Um, you even see the echo of the Big Bang. But red means it's cold right here. Yeah, well, um, colder than other stuff. But oh. I mean, it's all false colors. We, we just. It's just your liking. Okay. So these people liked it red. And now we come to very hot in blue, as you see. And this is an X-ray picture of the same sky. And, um, and X-rays show as a very hot and explosive universe. So we see black holes, we see pulses, neutron stars, we see jets. Mm -hmm. um, and we see a lot of moving stuff, millions of degrees hot mm -hmm. and um, yeah you need all these different things um, as you can see in order to broaden what you can see by eye. First astronomers just started with an optical picture like this mm -hmm. and there of course you see, see stars and you see some um, galaxies, you see some um, structures in between. But the dust but is a, hiding a lot. Then. Yeah, and the dust is hiding, blocking mm. visible light as well. If you, as we've heard with Alma, you can actually look back um, in, in time towards the Big Bang mm. and you, you get to times as uh, 12 billion years back. Um, which range would you actually use to go back even further towards the birth of our universe? Light wouldn't be enough anymore. Okay. You, would, you would need to go to gravitational waves because there's a certain point where the universe got visible. Uh -huh. But you can see the echo of the Big Bang and radio astronomy. But that sounds radio complicated then. Yeah, it is. But yeah. it's doable. You are actually working with a project called LOFA and the detectors or the telescopes you have look very different because they are very simple. Um, how, do, how do they actually work? Yeah, I mean, you see here another next generation radio telescope like ALMA. Maybe you wouldn't believe it. It looks so simple. It's just a uh, one meter 40 high antenna stations. But it's the trick is that you combine all these stations, all these different antenna fields, thousands of antenna all over Europe in a d computer. You digitalize the data and you need a, one of the best supercomputers right now in order to combine it. So the real thing is the computer power behind it. Amazing. Thanks a lot for the talk. Thank you. Schöner.